hey guys welcome back to my channel in today's video I'm going to be doing a makeup collection and um, how I store my makeup so I do have the Alex five drawers I don't remember if I said that in my video or not but I have the Alex five drawers over here and then my vanity thing is right behind me so um, this video is just going to be all about how I store my makeup and it's gonna be kind of an in-depth of kind of a lot of the makeup that I have I will show you almost every single product it's not like I have a ton so it's not gonna be like forever but I am gonna be showing you all the makeup products that I have I'm um, it's not gonna be like a full-on review of every product in here but I'm gonna be telling you how I feel about some of the products that are in here so thank you guys so much for tuning into this video hope you like it and maybe get some storage ideas all of the little white baskets like this one right here I keep all of my makeup and stuff in these inside of the drawers all of those came from Walmart they're just like 97 cent for like three of them and all of them came from Walmart and they were so super cheap and they just fit right in here I do have one of the gray organizer thing you'll see it's in my primers drawer it did come from Ikea but the little gray things in the top drawer are from Ikea and they're for the Alex drawer specifically so yeah that is pretty much everything for my vanity setup and everything like that if you have any questions about any of the products that you see in this video or any of the storage devices or you know anything that you see please leave a comment down below and I will try my best to answer those and tell you where exactly I got all of the storage or the brush holders or anything like that thank you guys so much for tuning into my channel and I hope you enjoyed this video thanks so on the top of my drawers I just have my foundations that I use on a regular basis so my L'Oreal Pro Matte Infallible the Pro Glow I don't really use that one that often but I still have it up there my Cover Effects Drops, my Hard Candy Drops, my MAC Foundation, Clinique, um, the IT Cosmetics ones. Then I just have some of my sprays, skincare, and just stuff I use pretty much on a daily basis. So I have my Take the Day Off Clinique Makeup Remover. I have my ELF Aqua Primer Mist, my MAC Fix Plus, my Urban Decay All Nighter, some toner, some moisturizer. And then I just have these brushes over here. These are the brushes I use in my freelance kit. But I haven't washed them yet, so I'm just leaving them up there. And I just have this little trash can, so whenever I get done with my makeup wipes, which are over here, I just take off my makeup, and then I just stick them in the trash can. I have some Q-tips back here for um, makeup mishaps. And, yeah. So then I have my eyeshadow palettes. See, they're all the eyeshadow palettes I own besides from a couple. I have really cleaned out my eyeshadow palettes recently and just got rid of the things that I wasn't using. I have my Lorac Pro Matte Palette. This is just a matte eyeshadow palette like that. I have my Tarte Man Eater Palette. I have my Tarte's Pro Glow. This is also face palettes too. So I have my Tarte Pro, Pro Glow. I have the Tarte Pro, the Tarte East Pro. My um, Color Pop Palette with all those colors in it. I just got the Modern Renaissance Palette, so I have that back there too. Rock Pro 3, and then the Miss Fabulous Palette by Jenny Fox from Ulta. I have the Matt, uh, I have the Morphe 35O, the 35OM, some Z palettes that I have some colors in. I have the Jaclyn Hill Palette. I have the, um, this is kind of like a dupe for the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Palette, sort of. Um, it looks pretty much just like it. This one just has a mirror, but, you know, it really just looks just like the Anastasia one. I have both of my Tartlet in blue, or my Tartlet palettes, too. And that's it for eyeshadow palettes. And back there, I just have my, um, 99% alcohol for cleaning my, um, makeup products after I use them in my freelance kit. On the front of my vanity here, I have my big mirror light, um, and it just has three settings on it. But I use this every day to apply my makeup. I have my little coaster here that I use to mix foundations. So I've just got this bucket of random things. So like little mirrors, scissors, um, anything that I really need to use for my makeup I keep in there. This bucket right here is just a bunch of single eyeshadows that I don't really use that often. So I just keep those back there. I have a picture of me and Justin from prom forever ago. And then I just have some, 
this little cup of makeup brushes. This is from Anthropology, and I'll just stick some of my other makeup brushes in there that I use. I have this acrylic organizer back here that has room for nail polishes and also lipsticks. I have another picture back there. I don't know if you can see it. And then I have my volleyball trophy from high school. Then I have this right here. This is a Pampered Chef organizer. Um, I just keep all of my makeup brushes in here. So I've got highlighting brushes, powder brushes, bronzer. I've got some lipsticks that I wear on a regular basis here. Double ended brushes and eyebrow razors. Blending brushes, contour foundation. Anything that you need, I've got right here, and I use, this is like the best thing I've ever bought. I love it so much, and it houses makeup brushes so well, and I've still got room for other brushes in here when I get more. In this top drawer right here, I have all of my makeup sponges, so the um, Real Technique sponge, the Eco Tools, and then this e.l.f. one. I also have an eyelash curler in here. I have some chapstick and a paint pot, just because I don't know why I put that in there also have some other stuff back here I don't really use that often just some fragrances in this little bucket right here I have a hair mask I have some random things in this middle compartment here so I have chapsticks I have um, primers um, eye makeup remover I have the Urban Decay Optical Illusion Primer some brow gel and my eyelash glue that I use a lot these are my other primers that I use sometimes. I don't really use anything but the NYX pore filler right now. So I have the NYX glitter glue. The also have the uh, Professional Matte Rescue from Benefit. An e.l.f. primer. What else do I have in there? And oh, the Lorac um, Beyond the Scenes Eye Primer. Then back here I just have some eyelashes. So I've got these Ardell Double Wispies. I've got the Salon Perfect Demi Wispies, the Ardell Wispies, these things, those, those are the 113s, those are very long, the um, Kiss Ritzy Black, the Vegas Nay and Allure Grand Glamour, I don't really wear those that often because they're crazy big, and the Kiss Blooming Lash, I think these are the Camillas, these are really pretty, there's a thick band on those right now because I've not taken my eyelash glue off of those yet. So those are my eyelashes. And then back here, so this drawer doesn't open all the way because this table's right here. But back here I just have some other primers that I don't really use that often. So this little primer from Elizabeth Mott. Um, I have some replacements for my eyebrow or for my eyelash curler. This Milani eyeshadow primer, which I really like that. I just don't use it that often. I just use my paint pot. And then another Maybelline Master Prime back there. Okay, for the second drawer, this is where I keep a lot of my face products. So over here we have mascaras. These are the mascaras that I don't use on a typical basis. They're just other ones that I could use sometimes. So I have the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black. This is the waterproof one, so I use it whenever I'm going swimming or I'm going to be sweating a lot. This is the CoverGirl Super Sizer. I really like that mascara. It's been in there for a while. Probably throw it away. I just don't use it that often. This is the Jordana Best Lash Extreme. Don't like this mascara. Not really. I mean, it's not the worst, but I don't really like it. I have the Max Factor Masterpiece Max from... I think this is from L'Oreal. I got this in my Influencer box. Um, it's okay. I don't really use it that often. I have the... Uh, Laura Geller Gla Glam Lash Dramatic Volumizing Mascara. Don't really like that one either. I just keep it in there. And then another little sample of the MAC Fox Lash Extreme. Hadn't opened this one yet, so I'm just waiting to use the other one before I use that one. Then in this drawer, I have eyeliners. So I've got some... I've got these NYX Jumbo Eye Pencils. I've got the Max Factor Masterpiece. This is a strange eyeliner. I don't like it at all. It's got like a paddle on the end of it. It's just really strange. I don't like it. I've got the Maybelline Lash Stiletto. I've got some of these um, Wet n Wild Idle Eyes. They're just like little cream eyeshadows or eyeliners. Some Wet n Wild White Eyeliner. Some NYX White Eyeliner. The um, Benefit the Real Push Up Liner. This is really strange. I don't know how I feel about that. The Tarte Precision 
long wear liner. I really do like that one. It's been in there for a while. I should also probably throw that away. I've got one of the NYX Liquid Crystal Lines. Um, I'm going to do a video about these. I bought some more, so I am going to be doing a video about those soon. I've got the Mr. Right Now. I think this is from the bomb. I got this in an Ipsy bag. I don't really like that either. Then I've got the Nano Liner from Absolute New York. I do like that one. It's got a really fine tip on it. I do kind of like that one. I got it a while back too in an Ipsy bag. And then the ColourPop Mr. Bing Cream Gel Liner. I don't like these liners. I don't think that they work very well. Then over here, I've got some of my ColourPop shadows. I don't have very many, but I do have some. So this one is Seeker. You can see, and just some more of those over there. Over here, I've got this NYX Treasure Lay liner. I think that's old. That's why I put it over there so I wouldn't accidentally use it. And then, whoops. And then another Benefit Their Real Push Up Liner. This one hasn't been opened yet, I don't think. Yeah. That one's just sitting over there because I haven't used it yet. Over here, I've got some single eyeshadows that I actually use. So these are really good. These are the L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadows. These are so pretty. I've got this one in Golden Sage number 333 and then Amber Rush 892. Everybody likes that one. It's really good eyeshadow. Then I've got some of these. These are the e.l.f. Molten Liquid Eyeshadows. Those are really good too. I've got a Wet n Wild Pigment. This one is in the color Heart of Rose Gold. I've got this MAC Eyeshadow. This is Nostalgic. I've got one of the Stila Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow. These are kind of hard to work with, but I still like them. I've got a NYX Single Shadow over here. I've got um, this shadow right here. This is the Urban Decay Midnight Cowboy Eyeshadow. I got it um, for my birthday from Ulta. And then one of the Maybelline Color Tattoos. This is in the shade Inked in Pink. I love this right here. So this front part of this little divider is my everyday stuff that I pretty for my eyes that I use on a regular basis. These are the makeup products that I absolutely love and I use these all the time. This is the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. I used to be real I used to like this mascara a lot more than I do now, but I still like that mascara to give a lot of volume. Um, it's really pretty. I have the NYX Faux Black in Oxblood liner. That's a really good eyeliner. MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash. I freaking love this mascara so much. It looks so pretty. And normally I use two, sometimes three mascaras on my eyelashes. But that one, I just use that one. It's so pretty. I have the Benefit They're Real. I don't like this as much as I used to, but um, I still do like that. The NYX Micro Brow Pencil, which I use every day to fill in my brows. The MAC Costa Riche Eye Coal. I'm in love with this eyeliner because... It stays all day long and I just I can't get enough of it. I've got the I've got the Rimmel Eye Coal in black. That's another really good eyeliner from the drugstore. This Clinique High Impact Mascara. I just found this in my drawer the other day and I realized that I hadn't used it yet. So I was like, whatever, I'll give it a try. This is the Jordana Easy Liner for Eyes in Brown Suede. This stays in my waterline all day long. I really 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 like this eyeliner right here and it looks just like the MAC Costa Riche. It's so pretty and it works. This is the Urban Decay 24-7 Velvet Glide on Eye Pencil. I just really like that one. Um, one another MAC Extreme Black. This is the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. I use this to line my eyes. Um, the Benefit Roller Lash, one of my favorite mascaras. Really like that one. And then the Jessie's Girl Liquid Eyeliner. I'm not the biggest fan of this just because it's a brush tip. It kind of makes it, it makes it harder for me sort of to get a precise line. But um, I heard a lot of good things about this one. Back here I just have some Kabuki brushes. Um, I don't know why I bought so many of these. I don't really use them that often but I couldn't pass up this one out here because it's so pretty. But yeah, these are the Kabuki brushes that I have. Then I just have a couple of palettes back here. Ooh. This is the Wet n Wild Comfort Zone Palette. Um, this is a really pretty palette. 
I really do like this palette. It all is shimmery color, so it's kind of hard to get a complete look out of it. But if you take one brown from another palette, you pretty much got a look right here. So that's a really nice eyeshadow palette. And then I just have this little Z palette. This is um, just two things I've depotted. And this is the Ofra eyeshadow and highlight and bliss. And this is the Jane Cosmetics number nine blushing wine blush. That's a really pretty blush right there. Okay, in the third drawer right here, I just have some bare products. I've got my highlighters in here. This is my favorite highlighter ever. This is the Tarte highlighter in Stunner. This is the powder version, and I also have the liquid version. I love this stuff so freaking much. It's so pretty, and it looks so good on um, a lot of skin tones. I've got the Wet n Wild Fergie highlighter down here. I've got the e.l.f. Baked Blush in Pinktastic, which I use as a highlighter. I've got the Gold Bar by Wet n Wild. I've got a ColourPop um, highlighter in Lunch Money. I've got an e.l.f. Duo down here. Um, the Essence Pure Nude highlighter, which I love a lot. Back here, I've got my concealers. So I've got I've got the Shape Tape, obviously. I've got the uh, Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. I love this concealer. And I've got some of the Fit Me Concealers. LA Girl Pro Conceal. And the the It Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer, which is really full coverage. Um, I don't use this one as often anymore because I like the Tarte Shape Tape better. And then I've got a NYX Above and Beyond Full Coverage Concealer in the lavender color. Then over here, I've just got some lip colors. So, some of the e.l.f. lip colors like this. I've got this one in Dash of Pink. And I've also got this one in Wine. These are both really pretty. I really like those. I've got the Color, Blot by, uh, Color Blur by Maybelline, which is also pretty good. I've got some lip lingeries by NYX. I've got the, this I've had for a while. I got it in a subscription box. This is the Hikari Merlot lip color. Um, I like that one a little bit. I'm not really into lip glosses. have this really old thing. My mom's going to kill me when she sees this because she wants it so bad. This is in, this is a Buxom lip gloss. Back when Buxom was still um, owned by Bare Minerals or whatever. It's when Buxom was Bare Minerals as well. My mom's going to kill me because she loves this gloss so much. And they discontinued it, but um, yeah, it's really, really old. And it looks kind of gross in there, so I'm not going to use it. This is the, another NYX lingerie. It's in the exact same color as the other one. This Wet n Wild cat suit. Uh, I don't know why everybody likes these. I just don't really think they're that great. I've got a Tarte Lip Surge. Is that what they're called? Lip Surgeons. Um, this is an okay color. I don't really use it that often. All of the colors that I really use are in my um, Pepper Chef spinning thing up there. And then I have a bunch of these. I still use these. These are the Ulta Lip Crayons. I still use a lot of those because they're really pretty. Then I just have some other... Um, I've got a lip exfoliant. I've just got some other colors in there that I don't really use. These are the Alex drawers, by the way. The Alex... The Alex 5 drawers. Wow, I'm such an idiot. Um, yeah, these are the Alex 5 drawers, by the way. So, in this fourth drawer right here, I have some bronzers. So, I've got the NARS Laguna... This is probably my all-time favorite bronzer right here. Can't get enough of it. I use it every single day. I've got this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Powder in Golden Tan. I use this as a bronzer because I don't use it when I'm very dark, but when I'm light, I use it as a bronzer because it looks so pretty on the skin. I've got the Rimmel Natural Bronzer in Sunlight. And it's pretty. I've got this MAC. It was a limited edition with one of their collections. I've got the MAC Fine Golding Bronzing Powder. I don't really use that that often. But it was one of the first MAC things that I bought. And I feel like I should keep it. Then I've got this um, Bronze Booster by Physicians Formula. This is in like their lightest shade. And it does not work for me at all right now. But I keep it because I, that's one of the very first things that I bought as well. This is the Benefit Hula Bronzer. Um, mine is completely almost gone. It's got like little flecks of stuff just kind of rolling around on the bottom down there. And then it's got just barely some pigment left up here at the top. But I really like this bronzer. I just haven't bought another one yet. 
And then I have this Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess Powder Bronze. Um, I got it as a Christmas present. And yeah, it's really pretty. It reminds me of the Nars Laguna a lot. Then I have some of my powders down here. So I have the Wet Mop um, Photo Focus Powder. I've got my Cody Airspun Powder, which I love so much. I use this to bake my under eyes all the time. Maybelline Super Stay Better Skin. I've also got this Tarte Amazonian Clay. The Tarte Smooth Operator Amazonian Clay Finishing Powder. I've got this Cover FX Tiny Baby Powder. I just used this in one of my videos recently. I've got this Bare Minerals, um, one of their little powder things. I don't really use it that often unless I need to like really cover up a spot. And this is just an empty uh, Cody Airspun back here. So over here are some of my blushes. So I have some Wet n Wild, some Jordana, the Milani Luminoso blush. I've got the Dandelion from Benefit, some of Milani blushes. I really like this one right here. This is in Romantic Rose. This one's really bright. It is in Coral Cove. So I really use this one more than I use any of the other ones. And then I have another Wet n Wild blush that is exactly the same as that one. And this is the very last drawer. This is just like a junk drawer. Not really junk, just products that I don't really have room for up top here. So this is the Clarisonic brush head cleaners. I've got some old, found, not old, but I've got some foundations that don't work for me right now. These are the Wet n Wild Photo Focus. I've got this Urban Decay little vice book thing here. You know when you buy from Ulta and they send you all of those freaking samples and whatnot? I'm just get tossed down here. So I just have, I'm not going to go through all these, up, but I just have some face masks. I've got these little pots. I use these in my freelance camp whenever I need to give them some lipstick. So whenever their lipstick starts wearing off, they can just get it out of the little pot here. This is what I use to wash my makeup brushes with. It's the Toms of Maine. It's just really um, lavender soap. These are just the little washcloths that I use whenever um, I use my makeup brushes or when I wash my makeup brushes. This is a mascara that I haven't opened yet. I'm about to do a video on this so be on the lookout for that. This is just a backup of my Max Fix Plus because I'm about to run out. Here are the other NYX um, glitter liners that I'm about to do a video on. These are just some other um, foundations I can't use yet. Over here I have these ColourPop lipsticks over oh gosh i got so much stuff in this thing right here so these are just brushes that um i don't really use if i need them for something i'll grab them but i never use those on a regular basis i've got some sunscreen in there because we always need sunscreen um i've got a sharpie down here for depotting i've also got some more of these makeup brushes put some of these in there this over here is the first eyeshadow palette that I bought. Crown Brush Underexposed Eyeshadow Palette. And it looks just like a naked palette. The first naked palette, I should say. I got so much use out of this. I remember using this all the time because I was so excited. I knew the day that it was supposed to come in the mail, I rushed home to get it. I was super excited about it. And I really did use this palette. Back here, I have this that I need to throw away because it's empty. I've got some travel Q-tips. I've got another foundation that doesn't work right now. I have these little brushes. Um, these are just the little brushes that come with the Hula stuff. These are supposed to be liquid filled cotton swabs, but they don't work. <laughs> this is um, some old soap that I need to throw away. Um, I've also got some depotting stuff back here, so I have an X-Acto knife. These are the things you put on brushes after you clean them. I've got some of the magnetic things that you get in your Z palettes whenever you're depotting to stick on the back. I've been looking for this forever. All right, guys, so that is it for my makeup and storage collection. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys. Yeah.